President Biden's student loan bailout raising more questions than giving answers. We have a special panel of current college students here right now with me, one whose parents are paying for school, another who is paying his own way to get his PhD. Joining me now is Columbia University student, he's a sophomore, Jeffrey Wolberg, and senior fellow at the Foundation for Research on Equal Opportunity, Preston Cooper. Preston, Mr. Impressive over here. Gentlemen, it's great to have you both here. Um, Jeffrey, I'm going to start with you. So you're a sophomore at Columbia. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Tough school to get into. You. Your parents are helping you, but and you, but you think that the student loan offerings, that kids, your your fellow students, should be weary of this. They don't understand what they're getting into. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I think that when you uh, go to school, you definitely have to consider the major that you're picking and the expected earnings um, after graduation, and that definitely should be a consideration when you're going to school. I mean, it's great to indulge your passions uh, while in school, but you have to actually consider what are my expected earnings? I mean, how much do I expect to make? Um, I may want to start, study art history. It's a great subject, much yeah. love to it. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't pay so well uh, after you graduate. So um, it, definitely, it has to be a more skills-oriented approach, and, and uh, you, you have to really understand what you're paying to, into. Uh, have you picked a major? I'm studying computer science, yes. Okay, okay, computer science. Preston, what about you? Because you, you know, you also, you know, you're getting your, your, your PhD, you're working towards your PhD, you know, you're a grad student, but you also, when you were getting your undergrad, you didn't do loans. I mean, you, you, do you think that it's unfair that now, all of a sudden, they're saying, you know, oh, student loans, we're gonna forgive you 10,000, 20,000, <laughs> when you're somebody that, that paid for your undergrad? That's right. Yeah. So um, I got I got some help with undergrad, so I didn't have to take out loans for for graduate school. You know, I was I was on my own, but I picked up a bunch of extra contract work while I was uh, while I was in school in order to avoid having to take out debts. Uh, I went to a, an in-state school where I could get a reduced tuition rate. But now I'm thinking, you know, if President Biden is forgiving up to twenty thousand dollars of everybody's loans, maybe that wasn't a sound financial decision for me to avoid debt. You know, throughout my life, I've been taught. You should avoid debt. You know, debt is not great. But now it seems like we're rewarding, you know, taking on debt. And um, I'm not angry about, you know, people who made different choices, you know, getting getting some of their loans forgiven. But I'm worried about what this means for the future. If this means that people take on more loans, this uh, under the expectation that these loans are going to get forgiven, and um, we end up with a, with a cycle of more debt, you know, more degrees that, as Jeffrey mentioned, might not necessarily be worth that much. And uh, I really worry about what it means for the future. Well, you also. We should say here, Preston, you're, you're, you're pretty much a slacker, George Mason University. I mean, you know, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Impressive as well. Um, and, you know, but these, but the, the schools, both of you, in fact, you're both going to very expensive schools. Um, and, you know, did you think about the, that should, even though you got into George Mason, for example, did you ever think to yourself, maybe I shouldn't go to George Mason, maybe I should maybe do community college first and transition over. <laughs> That's a tough decision. And a lot of kids are having to do that because of the finances. Did you ever face that, that decision? Yeah, well, so uh, George Mason is a, it's a public school and uh, I'm a Virginia citizen, so I got an in-state so tuition there. Okay. Well, so, I, so I get a little bit of a break, but you know, mm. I'm thinking, you know, if the government is going to pay for my education on the back end, I mean, that might change uh, my decision about where to go. Maybe I'm going to go to an expensive private school. Maybe that expensive private school is going to say, wow, we're getting all this new interest because students think they can get their loans forgiven. Why don't we raise tuition? You know, what kind of incentives does this create? What kind of snowball effect? does this have yeah and Jeffrey I want to ask you I mean the kids that you're with now you know the the freshmen the sophomore the juniors do you see them struggling financially at Columbia I, I see uh, Columbia does offer significant financial aid to those that need it. so um, for some students I see some struggling for some uh, it's, they're mostly going for close to free um, but yeah I mean it depends on really on the student well because it's expensive to live here yeah I mean, it's New York. <laughs> it's not like, I, mean, I went to school in Flagstaff, Arizona, a little bit cheaper. Um, but it, when you were in high school, and a lot of you and your, your fellow kid, you know, the students were making decisions about college, did a lot of the kids in, in your high school say, maybe I'm not going to start college, maybe I can't afford it, my family can't afford it? Did that happen a lot? So most students really went into uh, the college process, like understanding that you know the degree is a ticket to a middle or upper class life. They, it wasn't really about considering the, the costs of college, and maybe that it's perhaps not for me. Okay. Um, so, so it was really, they were sold a, a vision where 
you go to college, that's what you do, and and what you study leads you to a better life. But yeah. what, what the reality that we have to really um, start pushing is that it depends on your situation, what you're studying, um, and and if you can afford it. Yeah, and, yeah. But it's the, we have these blanket statements given that you know college should be for all, but clearly that's not the case because it depends what you're doing there. Yeah, it does. All right, rapid fire question, real quick. When you get out of college, dream job, go. A software engineer at Google, probably. Or or at Tesla. Google. Or Tesla. Okay. Well, you know, this we're, we're national television. They might be watching. Dream job. <laughs> well, I think the job I'm doing right now. You know, I work on higher education research for the Foundation for Research on Equal Opportunity, and uh, I love it. You know, I, I want to help solve these problems that are unfortunately only getting worse. <laughs> I think both of you have bright futures ahead. <laughs> Preston Cooper and Jeffrey Wolbrick, it's great to see you, you both. Thank you. Good luck to both of you with your degrees. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thanks for coming in.